Okay, I've got my 2002 Ram 1500 today, and this is a project I'm actually, I've been excited about. Um, we've got a problem with the seat over here. Any Ram 1500, you pretty much see if it hadn't been fixed. It's, it's wore down, the foam's wore down. The cloth is split and the foam's falling out, or it's just wore down to the metal. So I'll go ahead and we'll take a look at it here. Okay, and my truck is actually one of the best ones, or it's in the best condition as far as the cloth that I've seen, and more especially for a 2002, but the cloth is, you know, starting to tear right here, but this right here, it's just metal. When you get in here, you're just sitting on metal. <clears throat> so, anyways, um, you could, you know, get lucky, maybe you found a seat at the salvage yard, but it's unlikely. I haven't had any luck. Um, and the um, passenger side, if you tried to get the foam for that, it's a little bit different from this. So I'm going to show you what I got. It was less than $100 for uh, the cloth and the foam. And I'll go ahead and show you what I have. Okay, so here's the cloth portion of it. And you want to pay particular attention when you're ordering this. And to the pattern that you see, uh, for instance, if your seat like has the lines coming down the side and the one down the center and then these kind of like curve out it's pretty much the same from I think it's 2002 to 2005 you'll go to order this and it'll say it doesn't fit a 2002 but it does in fact fit we'll flip it over here now this is the velcro portion that that goes into the other part of the velcro on the foam makes it kind of sit down in there and gives it that tuft look. <clears throat> now you will note that this is gray and uh, the one I have there is tan but in order to get the tan it was hundred and seventy dollars for the seat cover this was only thirty six dollars plus tax so I don't care if it's gray I just want it to not be torn and be comfortable and this this is sewn this cloth is sewn on to padding as well so it'll have even more padding <clears throat> on that cloth and that just makes it so it doesn't look wrinkly when you stretch it on there okay so here's the foam portion so I'll leave a link to this stuff um, basically it fits you know 2002 2005 but you know you want to look at what pattern you have basically you know uh, they kept it the same for for several years there but you want to just look at your seat pattern and if it's a change up year you know you'll want to get the appropriate foam but this was only fifty dollars <throat> said the cloth was forty so even with tax I think I was at less than a hundred dollars for this in the foam so uh, anyways we're going to go ahead and get started on removing the seat and getting this uh, replaced here Okay, so for the seat removal, we don't want to start taking out these because that's attached to the center piece and then we got to get that loose and, and all that. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to come in here with a 13 millimeter right here and we're going to start taking these loose. And then it's got two of these on each corner. And then we're going to have one little snap. So just get you a little 13 in here that'll fit. Just get them loose where you can get them with your hand. And then we'll come in here and just finish removing those. Okay, so there we go. We got those two 13 millimeter nuts off of there. Okay, now we're just going to come to the back, back here, the same thing. Get these two off. Okay, then I'm going to come up around this side and get these two up here. None of these are real hard to get to. 
There's those. Now we got two more around the back side. All right, and we're just going to come back in here and finish removing these last two. And you can get in here to all these. Uh, you may have to get a slim ratchet, but they're not too bad to get to. Okay, one more thing. We got a wire clip. You want to get a screwdriver or something and pop that out from right there. Okay, and with that, we're ready to lift this up and out of here. Lift it right straight off of those studs and don't damage your studs. Okay, that's what that looks like once the seat is removed. You can see the two studs at each corner. Okay, so it's I guess it's more of a really light gray than anything. Um, but anyways, it's a, it's definitely a little bit different color. But anyways, we got the uh, we only need to worry about the seat bottom. We're going to go ahead and flip this over. I'll get some cardboard down here. Okay, so something I noticed when taking this off, you actually only have four of these bolts going to this which is the bracket so if those are not too much harder to get to and I don't expect they are it may be easier just to go ahead and take those out I didn't even realize that so that might be the easier way to go about that but anyways I'm gonna need to um, probably get this removed to be able to get to this and figure out how this is clipped actually no because it's clipped behind it here okay I was correct this piece does have to come off here so we're going to go ahead and zip it off so if um, I didn't think to do it this way but it would probably be easier just to take these out and leave this in place you see you can't really get to this with this piece on here Set that aside. We'll go ahead and get on the top one. Now I was reading someone was talking about um, taking and grinding down the metal or putting duct tape or something on it to keep it from wearing that foam. So might give that a shot. Okay, I will say going back on, I'm going to put these on first, and then I'll put the seat on, because it definitely seems to be way easier. Okay, and I just took the time to mark both these so I can stick them in there and not get confused about it when I put them in place. But as you can see, now we can easily get to these. They just snap right on there. And we'll just start snapping or unsnapping all of these. Just uh, remember where stuff goes. We do have a handle right here we're going to have to take off. But this one here appears to be stuck. Okay. Those really bite in. Okay, so we'll work on this one down here. Okay, I'm going to have to get a screwdriver. Okay, so I got that unhooked. And this, uh, this foam really does deteriorate over time. So even if it wasn't being broke down, you can see how this here is just push because the foam broke and then that just pushed down so I'm losing a spring here okay so now we just got a Phillips here to get out we should be able to start peeling should be able to start peeling this off here Okay, so I just unsnapped this one in the back here. Okay, we should be able to start lifting this off. Looks like I'm 
still kind of being held. So they got some kind of tough material in here. I guess it's supposed to protect that, but it's not doing a very good job. See a lot of my springs. Not quite sure what's going on here. Okay, let me flip it around. Okay, so let's see if I can stuff this through. I think it's just kind of Oh, well, got a clip right here that I forgot. Okay, that should be it. Okay, so now I think we got it. Looks like I have one more clip down there. But there's the old foam. You can see how it's just breaking through completely in these areas. So, we got that off there. I'm gonna see what I can do about these springs here that came loose. Looks like the rod just slid over and pushed down. So I'm gonna try to slide it back in place and fix it here. Okay, so the foam was getting bad, but what really happened on this side, reason it's setting so low is this, this rod it's holding these wires and the springs are holding the tension the rod has slid over like way over here so I'm gonna try to see if I can get it back into place and maybe do something to keep it from sliding over there again okay so we ran into a bit of a problem with this I realized that this is all broken up and somebody attempted to repair it at one time but this type of spring material um, I was looking online for the actual um, Ram 1500s are wanting like anywhere from you know forty dollars for something used to seventy five hundred dollars for something new ridiculous so anyways what I found this uh, upholstery company supply company Albright I'll leave a link to that uh, but basically I ordered some the material itself is like five dollars a yard okay so it's gonna be 16 inch they've got all sorts of this stuff 16 inch wide which is what we need and I'm getting a yard of it so I got enough to do a couple seats so anyways um, much cheaper if the shipping is the only thing that costs so it's you know twenty dollars because fifteen dollars for the shipping but still um, really don't need any more of it. I figure I'll probably have to fix the passenger side, but I probably won't need it anymore. Anyways, this is my, just my temporary fix because I don't know how long I'm going to be waiting on that stuff. Um, I've got a couple of uh, seat belts and I just tied them snug and actually, believe it or not, it sets better than it was setting before. You know, it's hard to believe, but it's actually setting up because that spring was all broke and it's better than it was before. So. I'm just going to deal with it until I get my new spring because not only, like I said, this stuff, it's got these dividers to keep it from moving. Uh, I kind of thought about going with the zigzag springs, but I don't know. I'm just going to try to stick with the OEM and be much easier. Okay, we're back here today. I got my uh, replacement spring in. Uh, like I said, I'm going to leave a link to that. <clears throat> it was uh, $5 for the material. I got a yard, so... I'm pretty certain that the other seat's going to be the same, so I've got enough to do that one. And uh, I would have gotten more, but I just didn't see uh, needing it for anything else anytime soon. Because it's the shipping. It was $15 shipping, but the, the material itself is really cheap. And opposed to, this is the old, um, the Dodge. You can see that um, it's the same length. It's 16 inch same stuff and they're charging like a hundred dollars for this if you go and you find this OEM piece it's a hundred dollars ridiculous so you can this they just get this off a big coil and 
they fix uh, upholsters, fix stuff all the time with this, and you can get this for like five dollars a yard. So I was happy to find that. So I've got this material. I'm going to cut off what I need and uh, just save the rest. But um, one thing I think I'm going to do differently is where you have these ends. I think I'm going to try. It's got this material on here. But I think I'm going to also try to bend that over like a little hook. That way in case it does decide to try to slide off, it'll catch on that and at least it won't move. But anyway, um, we're going to go ahead now. I've got to uh, we've got to work on the cushion here a second. Okay, basically I've just got some old material. Um, if you don't have anything handy, you can get online and order you a little yard of material or something. Uh, this is just some upholstery fabric and stuff that I had um, and I just you know it's not a very big piece like two and a half by two and a half or something and uh, it's this is not the um, the upholstery shops have the better glue but this this stuff works pretty well but they're gonna have better glue but I've got this this is what I had I used it for another project, so hopefully it's still good. And I said, all, all I'm going to be doing is just basically spraying this down in here and setting my material. I'm going to have a little bit of excess, and then I'll come around and trim it off. But that's all I'm going to do. You notice, because there's nothing on this foam, the spring and the you know, metal seed is going to eat away at that in no time. Um, with the original... They had like some kind of burlap material on it, which didn't matter much. I mean, it did kind of keep it from eating through, I guess, but um, the main problem was the springs breaking. And from there, it just tore it all to pieces. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to spray this down. Um, this stuff is really sticky. And uh, like spray it on there real good just do a little bit at a time spray it real good let that dry for just a second and we're just going to take and so like I said we're going to start with this piece right here I've got this kind of where I want it The stuff ain't very forgiving. Once it kind of gets set in place, it's it's all over but the crying. So you want to get stuff where you want it. Okay, so I've got this half <clears throat> sprayed. I had to quit talking for a minute because I was about to have it all messed up. I'm going to do a smaller section. So I really don't want it on this here. I'm going to come back and trim that. But we want to get it with well, this uh, spray adhesive. This stuff ain't ain't going anywhere. Get that, and I'll just get up here and spray this. Just trying not to do a big section at once. But you got to get enough glue to. Get it where it ain't going to move. But yeah, if you don't put any material, it ain't going to be no time. This foam, without anything on, it's just going to eat it right back up. And this, this material is thin, so it's not going to affect how the foam sets. Don't want to get this stuff on your hands like I just did. So, only thing I got left is gluing this rest of this right here, and we'll be all done with that. I just wanted to show you that. So, make sure that you glue some type of material. I'm putting it on the whole thing because you got springs going across here, and then you got the bars around here. Okay, there you can see I just trimmed all the excess. See how I like shoved it down in there as I was gluing it down into the corners just kind of cut these and 
you know, smashed it down in there. Nothing, nothing special, nothing real, real hard. Just went back and trimmed it. So now it's got a good um, tough surface for those springs so the springs aren't just eating away at it. Okay, and uh, like I was saying, there's always going to be unknowns when you're working on something, and that's what this was, is an unknown. I didn't know that the springs were going to be broken, which is really the main problem and the reason it was setting down so low. Um, but anyways, this place, uh, you can get this is out of Mississippi. They got it to me in two days, um, so I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm just going to figure out... Um, where we got to cut it. I'm going to cut it somewhere about right here. It's got to fit down in here. And I'm just going to cut it, cut it right there in the middle. And I'm going to try to see if I can't bend those ends over. That way, if this gives, it won't uh, just go flying off and causing a whole bunch of trouble. This stuff's actually pretty tough. I got my wire cutters. It's a pretty tough material, though. cut through this plastic here. So I'm going to take and uh, like I was talking about and just bend. See I got enough to do maybe even two more seats. I don't know. I was thinking a yard. Yeah I've got like really I could probably do a couple more seats. So there's the piece. I'm going to bend these ends over I'm going to bend it back like that way. Okay, so it's got my ends bent. That's basically just going to keep it, because what I think, it, it like these broke and it just, the wire slipped off before. Don't know that it's totally necessary, but I'm going to do that just as a precaution. Okay, so I'm going to place my springs. Now, to be fair, the kit that I've seen online uh, came with these springs. However, I very seriously doubt these springs ever break. It's probably going to always be this material here. It's just, it is what it is, you know. But anyways, I'm going to get these hooked. Okay, I got my springs where I want them. I'm just going to start pulling back on this up here. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to start pulling this on on one end with my fingers. I don't know how this is going to go. Yeah, it's pretty tight. So I may have to get a uh, screwdriver. I can get these ends, but the middle is very, very tight, like those springs are almost different. But I got my ends hooked and I got it sitting in here where I want it, I guess. Got a little bit of a gap over here. I might should have had a little bit wider of a piece. I don't think it's going to matter because the springs are only holding here. But. Anyways, I want to see if I can get these hooked with a screwdriver. Okay, so hopefully I can get this to pull over here without breaking it. It's a little bit more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Right, I'm going to try something different. Okay, so I took a screwdriver and just kind of got a smaller one and got in behind this notch, just kind of popped it over. So I can show you on this one. Just kind of pulling it. Let me try it from this side here. It's actually, well, there my screwdriver came apart. Okay, so it's, it's actually got quite a bit of tension on it. I mean, it surprised me. I thought I could just pull it by hand, but it's actually, no joke on that tension so the screwdriver helped pop it into place um, this side doesn't get set on as much we've got like a little bit of a gap I don't think it's going to make any difference it's all pretty solid 
So now we're ready to go ahead and get our seat over here. There's our old phone next to our new phone there. You see how raggedy and nasty it is. Now, I knew that the springs had been repaired, but I also I didn't look at it till now. They'd repaired this here. Somebody that halfway knew what they were doing on the foam there. But uh, they should have gotten some new spring material while they were at it. It's really cheap. All right, we'll just set this on here. And it should set into place fairly easy. Okay, so this part here I have to pick up and kind of go over this back bar. Just kind of flip it up and put it through there. Okay, now if the back was off, it'd probably make that a little easier. I can't rule out that I'm not going to have to remove that to get all my seat material on. But we're going to attempt it. And that's like fitting really nice. Okay, we're getting ready to slap our piece on. When you put this on, you want to kind of flip it inside out. Get your edges lined up. kind of put your hand in here start flipping it over that's looking nice really am impressed with the quality of this I said it was less than forty dollars I think with tax this material We're going to start tucking this under here where it goes. Okay. Let's see if we can get this on here. All right. We got these tabs. Got that side. All right, we'll get this other side. It really doesn't get any easier than this. I mean, with these plastic clips, they do all of the the hard work for you. It's looking really nice so far, like just like the OEM. Okay, I've just stuffed and pulled this material down through the back here. Okay, so you do have two parts back here. You hook one on each side. Hook it here and here, and the one in the middle. Because we got that one hooked, we gotta get this one hooked over the top of that as well. Now we got this strap right here. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, I think, okay, I got this one on wrong. This is supposed to go on the inside. I'm going to pop that back loose. Okay, so this one goes under here. I guess next to this is fine. As long as it's hidden, I'm going to pull that back down. Okay, looks like i got one more right here I missed. It's really snug to pull down. Okay. Okay, everything's looking really good. And you'll note our four bolts, that's how we're going to be putting it back on. Just those four 13 millimeters gonna set it back on there okay now the only other thing I want to do is push down in here and make sure those velcro strips have locked down into that foam real good so it gives it that kind of tough look there but man this is really looking nice very very happy with this said um, 
I have yet to ever find one of these seats in the salvage yard that was any good, and I don't even, or especially these years. Maybe a newer truck, but these years here, forget about it. But this is really nice. Said you can see the difference in the color, but I mean, I don't even care about that. And I plan on fixing the other side. And uh, because that color, the lighter color is so expensive, I will go with this. These are really cheap. Um, it's definitely better than the one that was on there. We'll see how it holds up. But it feels really nice. Let's go ahead and get this in the truck. Okay, one thing we didn't do was cut for this um, handle here. And on the other one, it's like slightly above this over there. So I'm thinking of just cutting it right around this area. I've got a sharp knife here. That's a pretty good size hole on the other one. So I'm assuming that it will not have to be too terribly small to be able to be covered up. Just don't want it to be able to rip mainly. All right, so I'm gonna get the handle and we'll get that back on now. So let's go ahead and tighten that up. Okay, so this is our studs. We're just gonna set this into place. And then we'll get our get our four thirteens going back up here into that and they're pretty easy to get to, it's not bad. So we'll go ahead and get this fastened down now. Okay, and just to show you, these are fairly easy to get to here, and it's they're right up here in the front. All I gotta do is snug those down, and if you come around to the back, just come right through here. And then just snug those up. So that's definitely the way to take that seat off, because uh, there's just four of them versus the way that I took it off originally. Okay, so there we have it, um, finished product, and I've already set in this, and it uh, it's a little bit stiffer than the foam that was originally in there, um, but I mean, I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm just tired of sitting on this metal bar here, and it's being broke down. It just, it's, it was horrible. Um, I mean, it actually, you know, hurt after a while hitting that thing enough, so I'm, I'm good with it. I swear it feels like that you're setting up a foot higher in this thing. But it's probably because everything was just broke down for so long and you're like setting through the, the seat pan there. Okay, see how nice that looks. I'm really happy with it. I mean, it's like a new seat. So I, I could care less about the color. If I could change them all, the backs and everything, I would. But um, I'm good with this. It's, you know, it's an old truck and just didn't want to spend $175, $180 to have the matching seat i could care less about that but it's really nice i'm really impressed with this foam <clears throat> so i'll leave the links to where i got the foam and uh this seat and i feel like this is it feels like really good material it it goes on like the oem and uh, it looks really nice i mean it fits the foam excellent so i would say that it's a really good product even though it was you know really cheap so not too bad um the springs i said i was under a hundred dollars uh with the springs i think i'm at 110 now so 110 to completely replace the cloth the foam and everything and have a whole new seat and it feels really nice and you sit really nice in it I'll give you another view Here's the old trashy foam. It's 
So the seat cover is only ripped here, but something like that will just tear your new foam right up. And I would imagine that after the repair, they'd gotten another seat cover and put on here because by the condition of this foam and the repair, I, I guarantee you that the that's not the original cover that's been on there. Okay, so I spent probably less than two hours on this project altogether. I said I had to, took me a couple days to get the spring material, but other than that, really simple job that you could do within a few hours. Um, I said $110 is where I'm at, with, even with the spring and stuff, but really simple job. So anyways, that's going to do it for the video. I hope that you found it helpful. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. If you'd like to leave a comment, please do so. As always, I invite you to subscribe, and thanks for watching.